Hello and welcome to Space Time with Robert. I'm Robert. And tonight we're gonna build a Galileo telescope. What we're listening to is uh, Vincenzo Galileo, I think his name is. That's Galileo's dad. So we're just gonna have his music playing in the background. I didn't know he was a composer. So before I open this, this came from uh, Explore Scientific in Arkansas, Arkansas. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it came all the way across the United States. It looks like it is in good condition. I'm a box nerd. So this is a live unboxing as well. Let's do it. I'm gonna use my keys. Oh. I've always wanted to build my own telescope. I've actually tried using magnifying glasses and mirrors and makeup mirrors and stuff like that and I got pretty far but I want to actually build one. So here it is. Alright, let's build this thing. There's nothing else in the box. Packaging for the box is like really pretty. Yeah, it is. It looks really nice. I'm just gonna try and dump it out. Okay, there we go. Alright, I mean, this might be a how not to build a telescope inspection video, too. <laughs> All right, we got the instructions. We gotta go quick because the sun's going down. Everything all nice and organized. side to unfold the two foam layers revealing six small lenses nested inside taking care not to touch the big or small lenses set both foam blocks on the table Remove the layers of cardboard and the parts attached. Uh, remove all the parts from the box and set them on the table in an 
arrangement similar to the one shown below. See the instructions uh, in the side for a quick parts reference. Okay. So let's get it all out. Joining in, uh, we're, we're building a telescope. This is a Galileo telescope. Any questions? A couple people waved, but that was it. what would we be able to see through the new telescope? We're hoping to see the moons of Galileo and maybe the rings of Saturn, also craters on the surface of the moon, but not too much else, uh, not much after that. It should be a relatively small powered telescope, so yeah, it's not gonna be uh, as strong as either of these two telescopes, but hopefully that's what we see. Lay the telescope main tube halves on the table, curved sides down. And I believe I can use these things too. They said that is still awesome. With an <laughs> excited happy face. Use the thank you. Uh, the V-shaped face. Alright, that's what we're using. Note that the 50 millimeter two-inch diameter objective lens is actually two lenses cemented together. Okay, so that means this is actually two lenses that are cemented together. One's a thinner lens, and that's gonna go on the outside, and then the thicker one's gonna go on the inside. So let's just flip this around. So I think it's gonna go like that. I think that's there, but it's gonna taper like that. And that's gonna be where the eyepiece goes, this is where the objective lens goes. Alright, moving along. That's how we do it. Let me just make sure. Boom, boom. Yeah, all right. Step two. Insert this little uh, nut right here. And make sure that it's um, 
See how it's like stick shaped like a star? I want one of the points pointing down. Oh, and rotate the whole telescope on it. Okay, I think that's down. Oh no, sorry. One of those points is supposed to be pointing up. My bad. <laughs> how it shows in the diagram. Seat the nut securely, make sure it's orientated with one of its points facing up. Okay. Lay uh, the two focuser two halves on the table, orientated with their interior facing up. Side. Yes. And the other end is smooth. On one half, the smooth end has two U shapes. Yeah, I see those. Okay. Cutouts. And uh, they're at the top. There, yeah, I see. Orientate them so that the two halves, the two smooth ends, match up. And the two rough ends match up as shown in the photo. Okay. Join the two focuser halves and hold them together. Then slide small main tube clamp ring, F. Oh boy, let's make sure we know which one that is. That will be this. That's F. Okay. Where are you going? Oh, it's getting a little windy. Okay. Someone said, what mountain in front of the phone? Sorry for asking something off topic. No, that's perfectly. It's off. It's on topic. Uh, that's uh, Mount Baker. Mount St. Helens used to look like that, apparently. <laughs> uh, and slide that on with the wider end of the focusing ring facing away from the tube with the two shape, U-shaped parts. Okay, so with the wider end facing away from that. All right, let's do it. Secure the two ends of the focuser with the two small rubber O-rings, G. Step six, lay the completed focuser tube assembly into the back of the main tube. Make sure that the end of the focuser tube with the U-shaped cutouts is protruding from the back of the telescope main tube, along with the main tube clamp ring. The other end of the focuser tube should lie between the two baffles and the back main of the tube. There's the baffle and the end of the tube. Okay, so here, okay, I see what they mean. A baffle is um, something that goes inside of a, like a gas can, or um, a gas tank, sorry, for like your car. And 
that stops the gas from sloshing around. And telescopes have the same thing. That stops the light from sloshing around in there as well. All right, moving on. Boy, I hope I do this right. I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> Important, peel the back of the sun sticker off and place the... Oh, wait, 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 hang on. sticker. It's uh, supposed to alert people to not look at the sun with this telescope. Luckily the sun has gone down. Do not do what Galileo did. It, yeah, Galileo did look at the sun with the telescope. Thank you. Okay, oh look at that. The nut rotated. We're gonna want to fix that. So we'll put you here. There, don't look at the sun anybody. Don't look at the telescope. Don't look at your eyes. sure it fits securely. We've done that, I think. Yep, this is secure. And step nine, secure the body together by sliding the main tube clamp, F, onto the back. Let's go towards the back, right, like that. Maybe I just put the thing in backwards, that's all I did. Maybe. And then...
shape cutouts are going towards the back. Set that in like that nicely. Between the two baffles, again, make sure that the nut is pointing up. Reset this upper portion. Oh, not you, don't turn on me. to take care while I'm wrapping it around these little uh, sight things here. Okay, they say that they may look small, but they should stretch. That's what they're telling me. got it all strapped together now. We're building a telescope. Let's do this. Now, uh, attach the dew cap. I, I want to say that's I. I, okay, there we go. Uh, on to the front of the main tube. So let's go on like this. Yes, it does. Make sure that's on there nice and snug. Okay. <laughs> This is awesome. Yeah, that's starting to look really cool. All right. Um, now we got to make some eyepieces really quick. So there are two eyepieces. The wider eyepiece uh, with the larger central opening is the main eyepiece with a magnification of 25. The narrower eyepiece is the smaller one with the central opening and the auxiliary eyepiece. It serves two different purposes about which we'll say more below. <laughs> cool. Let's make this first one. Um, the four main eyepiece lenses are about 17 millimeters in diameter. They handle the lenses with supplied... All right, let's see. Let's just get these things out. It's getting dark.
To the approximate size of the barrel. So here's the barrel. And we need two lenses to go into here. Be sure the flat sides of the lenses pair point away from each other. Alrighty. So they have a like, little figure here showing these two lenses pointing away from each other. And I'm going to have to build this thing really quick. So I'm going to need a convex and a concave. Now, when these two lenses come together, we have this weird looking ID, or weird looking lens. That goes in here with the flat side facing out. I can't really see them, but I can definitely feel them. I can feel that this one's bumping out and this one's dipping in like a bowl. So when I hold them together, I've got one end that's flat and one end that's bumping out a little bit. And that's supposed to go in the other end here. It's supposed to go in together, not, not separate. So we're gonna hold them together. second half. On top of that, clamp it together like that. First half. Oh. Let's see here. Let me make sure. Join the second half of the main eyepiece barrel with the first half into the one that you just assembled, taking care that the lenses and the field stop ring, the field stop ring, again and let's double check what is field stop ring F no no okay sorry let me figure this out <laughs> summertime here in the northwest. All right, looks like I have an eyepiece here that I just built and now I need to put a uh, clamp ring on it. Oh, it's so small and cute. I know. Join the second half of the main eyepiece with the first half and uh, take care that the lenses and the field stop ring fit together in the appropriate slots, blah, blah, blah. Uh, secure the halves with the large main clamp ring, O, 
which goes on the end closest to the lens. I've never built a telescope, by the way, just so you know. We've got our telescope. Here's the focuser like that, basically. And here's an eyepiece that we just built. So that should go in here. Yeah, it does. Oh, it fits in really snugly too. zooming in as close as we can. I want to see if I can just show you what this looks like. So I'll be right back, okay? Here's the telescope that we just built. Oh, my legs are numb. It's so cold. I should have brought thicker pants. All right, this is a, uh, like a, uh, an adapter for your phone. And so, that nut that we just did there, I'm going to screw this whole thing onto the tripod that the phone is on right now. And we're going to go ahead and, oh, come on buddy, and get this all worked out for you. So you can see what it's like. See that? You can just build a telescope! I hope I don't break this thing. I don't think it was designed for what we're about to do here. <laughs> but we're doing it anyways. The, you know, people who explore scientific are like, no! Wrong <laughs> button. So the 
one's gonna go in here. Sitting around, or things. We can just sit that over here. I'm not afraid of breaking or scratching anything. My brand new telescope right here. We're not gonna break. And this is a little camera tripod. It's like a probably cost me thirty bucks, I think. Okay, this is like the shakiest telescope I've ever worked with. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I bet this just looks so curious. for a second. with a telescope and it's too loose, it's too wobbly, just add some weight to the bottom.
thing is so tricky to work with. All right, I see it. Oh, what a workout. Okay. <laughs> so, all right, let's do this. You ready, y'all? So there's Jupiter, you can kind of see it. It's not perfectly in focus, but let's try and get you strapped in. Uh, in a moment. Oh, there it is. Got to keep it steady. We're doing this with a Galilean telescope, just so you know. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Stay. see the moons there. Oh yeah. yeah I can kind of see one going in and out a little bit. Hmm. How do we fix this? Don't worry y'all. We will do just we will do Galileo justice. Imagine how, how much he struggled with this thing. I can kind of see a moon. I can see two. I can see two moons? Mm -hmm. One's really close to Jupiter. Well, we're looking at the moons of Jupiter with a Galilean telescope that we just built this hour. Within an hour. This is so cool. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like much. It feels really authentic though, because you just like built this telescope and now you're looking at like Jupiter mm -hmm. with things that you like put your own work into. I'm going to try and move it just a little bit. so cool that you could just build a Galileo telescope. Oh, wow, Saturn is really close to Jupiter. Yeah. So we're just enjoying uh, Jupiter right now. The very first time we're looking at Jupiter through a brand new telescope that we just built. And we're 
listening to Galileo's dad. This is Jupiter. And we're, we're, yeah, we're looking through a telescope we literally just built. I'm gonna try and move it a little bit. Nah, I'm not gonna mess with this Barlow lens. <laughs> it was hard enough getting this close and the zoomed in. I'm very satisfied. Yeah, this is this is pretty cool. I like it. I think we'll uh, try and show off this telescope a little bit more later on, and with like maybe get it motorized. That'd be cool. That would be really cool. Yeah. yeah this, is a, this is the smallest telescope we've ever looked through. This is a 50 millimeter. Actually, I could probably turn this off. There, I think that got rid of some of the glare. Oh man, it's so shaky with the wind. Yeah, I wonder if this is what Galileo saw when he first pointed his telescope at Jupiter. It's like, wait a minute, there's stars out there. All right, should we go to Saturn real quick? Let's see what Saturn looks like through this little thing. Oh. <laughs> right, we're looking for Saturn. Oh, well, I mean, here's some trees. Just to prove, you know, this thing does work. That looks awesome. <laughs> Goes good with music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Having dinner and looking at Jupiter, what more can one ask? Right? All right, let's see if we can get Saturn. I think that's Jupiter again. I was gonna say that looks really bright for Saturn. <laughs> Cause I feel like I could see moons. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at Jupiter. I 
think it's just a little too bright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's out of focus. That's back where we were. So this is Saturn through a Galileo telescope. That was Saturn through a Galileo telescope. <laughs> By far the trickiest telescope I've ever worked with. Oh boy. Earthquake! <laughs> Wait, we're not back at Jupiter again, are we? We are! Darn it! <laughs> Jupiter? I mean, it is a Galilean telescope. No, that's terrible. So, we were at Saturn for a second there. They're so close together in the sky, so it's easy to just get them mixed up. <laughs> yeah, especially when you can't really see the rings. Mm -hmm. It's much easier to tell. Yeah, I, I accidentally keep going back to Jupiter. Come on. No, not you, Jupiter. <laughs> Get out of here! You want Saturn? Yeah, you. Almost. I feel like you can almost see a ring. see how he said that it had ears. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what he said. He said that this planet had ears. Definitely does look like that. Hello. We're looking through a, a Galilean 50 millimeter telescope that we just built at Saturn. Oh man. I'm, my knees so glad we did some yoga. So we, we just built this telescope tonight. And this is Saturn. Okay, thank you so much, everybody, for joining in. This was uh, a bit of a weird adventure, but <laughs> I'm glad we did it all together. We did it. That's been uh, Saturn and Jupiter for the very first time through a 50 millimeter telescope that was built on the spot, on the scene. And thank you all for sticking in there with me and, and listening to this fun music. I love you all. I'll see you soon, hopefully. Stay safe. Bye. Ah, Galileo, you rock. Ah.